we saw Deshaun Watson get suspended for six games. Yes. Now he's not suspended for, well, minimum six games. NFL's appealing. But as soon as the Watson news came out, I can't tell you how many people referenced your wheel of punishment to me. Yes. It's like they yes. want me to do the wheel of punishment. I'm like, that's Tree's thing. Wheel of Discipline! You gotta wait till this stuff pans out before you start doing a video. Because if the NFL starts appealing and they magically tweak the wheel of discipline to go from six games to lose a turn or two games to bankruptcy, you know what? You gotta wait for that to happen. There's so much more that has to go on. You have to remember, too, that Calvin Ridley got suspended an entire year for a $1,500 parlay, <laughs> even though you make the argument that it is gambling and that is forbidden. While Deshaun Watson has at least 50 happy endings and gets uh, suspended roughly a third of a game per woman accuser. So, you know what? I think that is the glory of the wheel. It is impartial. It is unbiased. It doesn't take feelings or thought Crazy or logic wheel. into any consideration. It is a simple wheel. You spin it. And I feel like that's the fairest judgment of all. So if I, I feel like that should happen for all crime. If you steal a loaf of bread and you spin on death penalty, you get the wheel of fortune sound and then you're immediately hung. So, you know, what? I do not I want to out. live in trees world. <laughs> well, you know what? Here. Hey, you can't try double jeopardy in America, baby. Do we think Sean Watson's punishment was fair? Let's start there. Was this punishment fair? Well, uh, the six game suspension is weird and that's why the NFL is going, is appealing it. And I think the thing that's getting lost here is the NFL did not decide this punishment. The third party arbitrator did, yes. which is a new process they established with the last CBA. And this is the first time they've went through this process. Now, some are suggesting that the arbitrator is setting up the NFL to look like the heroes and come in and give out a fair punishment. Based on her findings, she said she thought the NFL presented enough information that Deshaun Watson was guilty of sexual assault, that he violated the collective bargaining agreement multiple times, but there was only precedent for her to do the six-game suspension. Bottom line, Roger Goodell still has final say. He's appointed the person who's going to hear the appeal, which has to be somebody that's going to think similarly to him, I would imagine. I don't know why somebody who has that much power would appoint somebody they don't think is going to side with them on how they want this to go. And the NFL wants a year-long suspension, and I think that's what's ultimately going to happen. I have a question. Okay, because I have, have not been Dear up on God, it as no. much as possible. Can someone explain to me why the NFLPA was saying, uh, we just need to accept the punishment, right? <clears throat> Everyone needs to accept what's going to come out. Why did they say this? And to me, that that's reminiscent of they knew that this was going to be a lenient uh, punishment coming down. Why would they say this beforehand? Does anyone have any question or any answer to that? I think the NFLPA is just trying to protect one of their players. I think that's what they do for every situation. So that's why they're saying this out and out, even though you can make the argument, I'm going to play devil's advocate here. Deshaun Watson was accused 22 times. He was never charged with a crime. He has settled with a bunch of his uh, lawsuits. And there was like some consensual action. There or some alleged consensual action between a few of them. So that's probably what they're going off of. They're probably going off of, okay, it's not concrete that this man committed a crime. It's, it's not an ideal situation, but at the same time, they're trying to protect one of their own, that he doesn't get screwed over. That's what the NFLPA is doing. It's to me, though, if you're Ezekiel Elliott, what the heck are you thinking? Because you get suspended for this same amount of time. One, 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 not 20, not, not five, not 10, not 15, not 22, one what allegation. Were his, what were the allegations against him? I can't even remember. It was domestic violence, it was domestic, but he was right? never charged with a crime. Never charged. Okay. This man was never charged. So Same as Jaron Reed, same suspension. Like, same bro, crime, never charged, with a, never charged with a crime. What are we doing? At least, let's, it's like the NFLPA saying, okay, well, this is all I could go off of. What? 
I, I, it, it's just bizarre to me. It's bizarre to me that one person's punishment where it's very similar and another person where it's 22 different people, same, same length. I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I just don't understand how the judge can be like, hey, this guy like can't go out and get other masseuses anymore. He has to use like the team's masseuses because it's like you can't trust him to now yeah. go out and do, like not do what he has done in the past. And I feel like it's just such an icky, like gross story. And, and I don't know how that translates to six games, but I, I, as I've said now this entire time, there's no winner here. Like there's, there's no way the, and even if the NFL comes in and it's like, Hey, it's a year, right? Like they decide it's a year suspension. Okay. That's the same exact thing that Calvin Ridley got for a $1,500 parlay. Like there's, there's no winner. Like eventually Deshaun Watson is going to see the field. It's so you know why it's yeah. disgusting even more? Because this man was taking pictures with children. Did y'all see this? Oh, this they're all getting was... the autograph and stuff. Yeah. Oh mm -hmm. my gosh. It well, was, once again, just... if you're an athlete and you're really good, you pretty much have Teflon. You can get away with a lot of crap. And oh. Pittsburgh saw it with a certain quarterback that just retired. So Cleveland, have fun with that. And they like rolled out, you know, like the red carpet and was just like, he's leaving. Like, you know, it's the farewell. Oh, dude, tour. it was propaganda. It was oh, like yeah. something North Korea would blush at. You remember that final take thing on NBC after the wildcard game? They called him wholesome family yeah. man. They called him dependable honest it's like what <laughs> yep I, I have to find that <laughs>